My name is Laura Miller. I'm 23 years old, and I'm Muslim. For Laura Miller, converting to Islam in February 2007 was not an overnight decision. My interest began during my undergrad years at Cal. Um, I took a variety of classes, like Middle Eastern related classes. I took Arabic, uh, a course on religion. The educational pursuit soon turned into something deeper. But it wasn't until a trip to Egypt with a group of Muslim friends last winter that Laura felt she was ready. I was talking with, uh, with this, this convert girl who I know, and she was like, if that's what you already believe in your heart, that there is no God but God and Muhammad is the messenger of God, well, then you're already a Muslim. Being Muslim has brought many changes in Laura's lifestyle. I stopped drinking, stopped going clubbing, and my sleeves started to get longer. Now, now covering up more feels right to me. But Laura still has to face the biggest challenge of all, confronting her Jewish family. They'd probably think I'm betraying my culture, my family, my tradition. My dad once said, I would feel differently if you converted to a different religion, like to, to Buddhism or to Catholicism, than if you converted to Islam. Since September 11th, the rate of conversion to Islam in the U.S. has more than tripled, with over 20,000 people converting each year. The sense of community and sisterhood, um, much, much stronger than what I ever experienced in Judaism. I really feel a sense of belonging. Now, Laura is waiting for the right moment. I don't want them to not know forever. I just needed to feel confident in my decision so I can demonstrate to my parents, hey, I've been Muslim since February. Have you noticed like a really bad change in me? Have I like gone off and become a crazy terrorist? No, I'm a normal citizen of American society. You know, I'm working two jobs and staying out of trouble. What more could you ask for?